So welcome guys, today I'm going to do some speaker tinsel wire replacement. So the speaker we are going to be replacing the tinsel wire is this speaker over here. It's a big speaker, X metal base, it's from an LG sound system. The speaker was blown, but the only thing that was blown were the tinsel wires. These are not supposed to be here. This was soldered here for testing purposes. So this is what we are going to be replacing today. The cables that usually go here are known as tinsel wires. And they normally look like this. Tinsel wires are used where there is a lot of mechanical vibration in electrical parts. You know how speakers move. So this unload speaker I also do some coil replacement but another video in the future for this speaker. But today we are going to concentrate on this subwoofer. So the tools required for this job are a pair of tweezers, a pair of side cutters and a soldering gun. The materials we are going to need are the tinsel wire itself and some good quality solder. So let's get to unsoldering the cables I soldered and we solder the tinsel wire. This is my other subwoofer speaker, also from LG. And the reason I'm showing you this speaker is to show you the link or the joint between the wood panel and the plastic panel. The joint here is a sealed joint and it's very airtight. The only air that goes into and out of these speakers goes through this port, this one port, and that's another port. So these types of speakers are in my opinion badly built construction wise but not sound wise construction wise because you can't repair such kind of a speaker if this speaker gets spoiled you have to pry open this plastic panel and once you pry it open it can't go back the way it was so you can see this looks like some allen key screw another one here and another one down here and here too those are all fake plastic pieces same goes for this side over here. These are just fake plastic pieces made, made to make the speaker look cool. So it's a very good speaker, but construction wise, you can't repair it. So once I repair the other speaker, I'm going to do a test and I'm going to use my famous car audio amp, the Jack that 245 amplifier. So, it's also off. so when I went to buy this wire, the shopkeeper sold me what is known as reed wire. I don't know why they call it reed wire, but the correct name is tinsel wire. I don't know how you spell it, some kind of homophone. But so now we are going to remove the excess solder here using the reed wire. So we remove the excess reed wire. So it's so tough because there's uh, some glue at the back here. One piece has fallen down. This one.
So now we cut our lead wire to size and we solder it. So the lead wire is going to get be inserted from over here. It's much easier this way than getting it from the other side. And use a proportionate size. I think that's about fine. I don't want it flapping on the back of the cone over here. If it flaps over there, it's going to create some distortion. So I think that's a good size. I'm going to mark it over here and cut two extra pieces because this piece has started to come out. So these are the two pieces that I'm going to use but after I cut it from over here. So I just put on a little solder over here to go over there but after I have inserted it. So after I insert the tinsel wire bend it like that on both sides. And so over here we are going to put a small dab of solder over here and over here. So make sure your tip is clean. You can use a, a wet piece of cotton. So let's start. So let's start soldering. So that's enough for that side and the other side. That's enough too. So from here we are going to maneuver the tinsel wire to the place it's supposed to be soldered using our tweezers. So this is the hardest part. So bear with me if I don't get it on video. So before I do that, let's just solder the other end. And so the last thing we're going to solder is on the cone, the, co the wires that go to the cone. So first let's solder the other side over here. Push it a little bit and then let's add some solder. So the next part is the hardest part. We're going to solder this, our tinsel wire, to the connector at from the cone. So for that we're going to use our tweezers. This is the most hardest part. So forgive me if I don't get this on video. So the first side is done. That was a struggle. So the other side So make sure you don't burn the cone or the spider with your soldering gun. I think I'm done and they won't be hitting the other sides. So the magnet is really strong. So what's left is to try and test it on my amp. So let's go. So this is the test part. Remember I told you I might need the hot glue gun. I did use some little bits. I put some hot glue here and over there and at the back over there. So it's same for testing. So let's test it.
you don't hear the bass, that's because I don't have a subwoofer enclosure. So maybe in the future I'm going to search for some wood and make a perfect subwoofer box for this speaker. Seems like uh, it can do some great music. So if you're asking what happened to the original box for this subwoofer, I have a short clip at the end of this video. You can check it out and see what I did with that box. So goodbye and thanks for watching. What is? Boss.